Hello 1A, 1B, and 1C. Today we are going to work on vector graphics. Vector graphics. What you're going to do first is you're going to search for a picture. I want you guys to type in, oh, also, if you have Chrome, use Chrome. If you have Internet Explorer, you can use that. Safari as well. So you can use any, um, any web browser. Okay, first, you are going to type in a cartoon penguin face. All right. And then you're going to click on images. We are going to try to copy this third one right here, this image right here. What you're going to do is you're going to drag it into your desktop. There it is. Now to move your web browser, make sure you click at the top. That's how you drag it around. All right, now we are ready to go to the drawing application. So you're gonna click, you're gonna open a new tab, and you're going to type in sketch.io. There you go, sketch.io. And I'll zoom it in for you right here, sketch.io. Also, when you are watching this video, you can pause the video at any time. So if I'm going way too fast, you can just uh, go back. So, All right, now we are on the website. You're going to go down, and you're going to see Sketchpad 3. You're going to click on that. It's going to ask you uh, if you can authorize this app to save drawings. You can just click OK. And you're also going to click Allow up here. Okay, now we're ready to draw. So, we're going to move aside the uh, window again and drag our penguin. There you go. I'm going to make it a little smaller because one side is going to have the actual picture and then here I'm going to draw it. Alright, let's see if I can do it. Um, I am going to use the pen and then here you will see it says line line. Now vector graphics, vector means uh, a path. So if I click here, here, this line or this path is called a vector. That's why it's called a vector drawing. So I'm going to now trace this whole penguin all the way around. All right, so I start here. I'm going to click once and it's going to make a vector. And then I just click, keep, keep clicking all the way around. Finished. When I'm finished, I'm going to go back to that square. And it says close path or close vector. There you go. Now, um, we are going to fill it with a color. I'm going to choose black. Let's see. Oops. Okay, there you go. All right, now I have two copies, right? Okay, so now I need to draw the face. So I'm going to go back to line. This time I want it to be white. Whoops. I don't want that to be white. All right, I'm going to click line again. All right, uh, now I will trace the next color. Right now it's turning black because I chose black, but I need to change it to white a little later. But I'm doing the same exact thing as I did before. Just making a shape. There you go, and I close it. I'm going to change it to white. Oh, didn't work. Oh, I have to click on it. I'm going to change it to white. All right, there you go. Now, I use this tool to move around the shapes. This one is to make the shapes. This one is to move it around. So if I click select, now I can move the shape here, like that. I am not done yet because I have way more to go. I'm going to do click line again. Um, I'm going to now copy this beak. 
Also, I forgot to mention, um, these dots are called nodes, N-O-D-E, nodes. Uh, now I will click select because I want to move this shape. Whoops, wrong shape. There you go. And it should be, I think orange, so I'll choose, this one looks the closest. There you go. And then I am ready to draw the eyes. Let's try the, no, let's just stick with this. All right. Now the circle, it's better to go really close to each other when you make that, when you make your vectors. All right, I'm going to change it to black. Whoops, I didn't select it. I'm going to change it to black. Let's see if I can copy it. Command C, Command V. Oh, yeah, I can. But can I move it? All right, there you go. Awesome. Now I am done. There is my drawing. I can just delete this picture. I can highlight my whole penguin, put it in the center. Uh, I will purposely make some mistakes and show you what you should do. So right now, if I make a shape and I'm not doing it correctly and I want to delete what I just created, you just go back to the square and it will close it and then just press undo. And that's in the right corner right here undo button. If you click on that, it will go away. So make sure when you do create a shape, you are not doing it too close to where the other node is. It has to be a little separate. And make sure you close it by going back to the square, the white square. And then you're going to click select because you need to tell the computer what shape you want to uh, move and also change the color of, like that. When you are done, you can also add a few of these items as well. These shapes, and there are clip art. Also, let's say you created the beak first, and when you drag it to your penguin, it goes all the way to the back. What you will need to do is you need to be on the select tool, click on your item, right click, and then send to front. And that depends on what the object is. So if it was this, the body of the penguin, you would send it to the back. But because it's the, it's the beak, it needs to be in the front, send it to front. And then now I can click on it and drag it where it's supposed to be. Also, when you are finished, you can click on export. You can click on download. Click fit within. Change it to 300 DPI. Also change the format to PNG. And then download. And it will go straight to your downloads folder. When you open it, you will see your picture. When you finish your penguin, you can move on to a more difficult uh, image. You can go search for a difficult image. Make sure when you search for something, you ask your parents to help you. You will not be searching for images by yourself, only with your parents. Thank you for listening. And I will see you on Monday.